So Robert Mueller recently released another round of indictments. Um, I just did a long segment breaking it down, but here's my, the, my Cliff Notes take on it. The Mueller indictments over, for Manafort and Flynn and Mueller going after Trump's inner circle, his cabinet, whether it be Kushner or any of the other shady people in the administration, totally support it. I think Mueller's 100% right. I think there's a mountain of evidence for everything he's saying there. When it comes to the, the troll farm indictments where he's like prosecuting people, or excuse me, indicting people over memes, I think that's silly. Um, and I think anybody who's willing to look at that with an open mind will come to that conclusion. I think indicting Russian intelligence officials for hacking uh, the DNC and doing what we know Russian intelligence officials are going to do anyway, which is stir shit in the U.S., I don't get it. I don't get They're never going to see a day in U.S. court. It's weird. It's weird to indict Russian intelligence officials. It's like if Russia tried to indict people in the NSA or the CIA for trying to meddle with their shit because they know that that's the whole point of the NSA and the CIA is to fuck with their shit. So it's just a weird thing. It's like, oh, we're going to condemn you for doing what we knew you were doing anyway. And uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Now, I do. I will say it's overwhelmingly likely that Russia did the hacking of the DNC uh, and gave us that information to gave that information to WikiLeaks and WikiLeaks gave it to us. But you guys know my position on that. I don't care how we got that information. We needed to see that information. There was corruption and primary rigging going on. So it's good that we know that. And I think if you don't think it's good that we know that, then you're crazy. You're crazy. Imagine they uncovered RNC um, rigging and, and corruption. You'd, you, nobody would care where it came from. We'd be like, yeah, that's great. That's good. We need to see that. Okay, but I digress. Here's the reaction from CNN host Michael Smirkanish. Now, I need you to understand something. This isn't just him who's saying this. There's a lot of people who are saying this. Lauren O'Donnell on MSNBC said a very, very similar thing. Um, but here's Michael Smirkanish, and he's reflecting, he's the, one of the most establishment hosts there is. He plays the neutrality game all day long, oh, I'm a reasonable centrist, and I'm in the middle of the two political parties. But this is now the consensus in Washington, D.C., um, after this new round of Mueller indictments. Look at this. Will you hold Obama accountable? You say you are fair. We will see. I mean, all this meddling happened under Obama and no one cares. This is why the American people get so frustrated with the media. This is why Trump will win again in the midterm. And you know what? The president tweeted today on exactly that point. That was his initial response. Here's what I'm looking for. Instead of this going on between liberals and conservatives, Republicans and Democrats, what happened to when we were united against a common enemy? This was terrorism. We were the victims of a terror strike. And will the commander in chief on Monday hold accountable the presumed perpetrator of that terror strike? Stop all the liberal, conservative, red state, blue state stuff. Our partisan differences used to end at the water's edge. Now let's get back to those times. Sorry, I lost my place. Give me the part that says what's coming up. Terrorism? That's what that was. Terrorism is defined as uh, using violence for a political or religious reason. Um, that's not violence. Getting the DNC's dirty laundry and airing it out in public, showing how there was corruption, rampant corruption, primary rigging going on, uh, that's a good thing. We need transparency. We need to know how our elections are run. And if they're not being run in the way they should be, if they're not really free and fair... I want to see that, and so should you. Now, sure, the source very well may have been a hostile or relatively hostile country. Okay. Again, just try to imagine it uh, if it was information on the RNC that showed corruption and primary rigging. Would everybody call this terrorism? Would everybody say, ah, by showing us how this election was rigged, uh, you... This has been, this is an act of terrorism. Why, why not the anger directed at the fact that there were dirty secrets to be uncovered? So why not be mad at the DNC and Hillary Clinton? 
You know, it's almost like they're saying, I can't believe you showed us stuff that affected the election because it was really important. So you'd rather keep that under wraps? I mean, I guess. And then also, by the way, this th there's a contradictory narrative coming out, too, that th originally the point was from Democrats like, oh, there was nothing in those leaks. It was just fucking, uh, what's-his-face's risotto recipes. John Podesta's risotto recipes. There's nothing to see here. But at the same time, they make the argument like, this obviously swung the election, which is why it was an attack on our democracy. Which is it? It couldn't be so damning that it exposes the election, but at the same time, it was nothing, and it was just the risotto recipes. Listen, man, if it's the RNC, I want to see the corruption. I want to see uh, the rigging, assuming it's going on. If it's the DNC, I want to see the same thing. Um, if Russia gave us that information, okay, but that's what Russian intelligence officials doing what Russian intelligence officials are going to do. That's them meddling in our election, quite literally. But we do the same thing to them. So it's, I don't get this, like, pearl clutching, like, oh, I can't believe that Russian intelligence officials are doing what intelligence officials do. Yes, we're doing it to them, they're doing it to us, other countries are doing it to other countries. Uh, it's, this really is, like, par for the course. And to act like this is terrorism is really dangerous because how do, what, does one react to terrorism? How, how are we supposed to react if there was a terror attack against us? It ain't sitting around. It's action, bitch. Let's go. We need to defend our country. So, uh, defending means what? I mean, best case scenario, he's just talking about, you know, returning um, intelligence actions to them and leaking shit on their government, which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. And that's what the CIA is probably already doing and the NSA is probably already doing. But anything more than that, militarily, I mean, you called it terrorism. That has a, a militaristic connotation, like, okay, we can fight a war over this, and it's totally reasonable and justified. So in order to protect the information that a primary was rigged, <laughs> and that there's corruption at the highest levels of the DNC, Michael Smirkanish might be like, yeah, sure, war, why not? Let's go to war. They attacked us! This is a terrorism! <laughs> Obviously, if there's corruption in primary rigging, you hide it. Because that's better for everybody. What? I don't get this, man, and it's really fucking scary. And then again, we spoke about how this new round of indictments came out three days before Trump is supposed to meet with Putin, which, by the way, that's happening today. And so now there's this tremendous amount of pressure from the media to be more standoffish with Putin, more bellicose, more arrogant, as opposed to uh, working towards detente and peace. So, uh, and now I've already seen it. Uh, articles talking about how, oh, Trump is going to give Putin what he wants on Syria. What does that mean? Is the default position that you should always do the opposite of what Putin wants? Because I got news for you. Putin backs the Syrian government. The Syrian government's fighting ISIS. So are we now supposed to be on the opposite side? Are we supposed to be on the pro-ISIS side? Because Putin's on the other side? Is that the way it's supposed to work? He's going to do what Putin wants in Syria. What if on this one issue, Putin is correct? What about that? Now, I'm not saying Putin's correct for the right reasons. It really has to do with the fact that Assad is his ally and they have business dealing, so it's more to do with the economy and finances for Putin than anything else. Um, but what if it's still the correct position? Are we supposed to... No. No, we're going to do the opposite of what you want in Syria because I have to be against you because my media is currently in a fervor where everything has to be against you. Terrorism. He fucking called it terrorism, man. He called it terrorism. He called Russian hackers, Russian intelligence officials, getting dirt on the DNC terrorism. I will never understand for the life of me why there always is a diversion from the substance of the leaks to who did the leaking. Happened with Daniel Ellsberg and the Pentagon Papers with Vietnam. Happened with Edward Snowden. Happened with Chelsea Manning. And now it's happening with Russian intelligence officials. To be fair, uh, the, the previous ones, the former ones, Ellsberg, Manning, and Snowden, were doing it out of a public service. And, and uh, for their own conscience. Like, oh, this is the right thing to do. I know it's the right thing to do. I'm not saying Russian intelligence officials were doing it because they're like, oh, we must do the right thing and expose this corruption and this primary rigging. No, they were they were doing it to meddle in the election. But we still should have seen that information. Stop arguing for less information. Stop arguing for less transparency. Okay, 
the real response, if you want to be critical, here's the way to be critical. Release the RNC stuff too. That's, that's how, that's the position I take. I want to see the dirt, because that's stuff the American people should see. We're, our elections are being fucked with, we need to see that. And when I say fuck with, I mean the DNC is rigging it. Not Russia, Russia's just showing you that they're rigging it. Um, but I need to see that on the RNC side too. So, that's, that's my take on it, but this language is fucking... It's not only dangerous, it's really stupid. Like, you sound like a fucking moron, Michael Smirkanish. You sound like a moron. That's not terrorism! That is not terrorism by any stretch of the imagination, and if you think it is, you're fucking wrong.